Hello everyone. In this session, we will look at how to understand a particular page structure, right? Uh, every page will have a certain structure depending on the type of website you are building. Let it be for yourself or for your clients, right? So how to understand it in the best way possible? We will discuss on that. Second is how can we pull sections from 100 plus templates that the Elements plugin provides us? How can we pull sections that we want to create our own website. It's just a browsing technique and then copy pasting it. And the last thing that we will look at is mobile editing. We'll just uh, go through how easy it is to mobile edit using Elementor Pro. Generally, every website that gets created on Elementor Pro, let it be the predefined templates, template kits, all are mobile ready any which ways. So let's get started. Uh, before we jump to it, uh, I just saw this notification, so I just wanted to cover this. These are update notifications. Whenever a plugin or whenever your WordPress gets a new version, you need to update that just to keep your WordPress up to date. So let's just see this first. So every time there is a new update, you will find this notification on your WordPress dashboard. So if you see, Two of my plugins have a new update, new version available. So all I have to do is, so if there are multiple of this, all I'll do is select, I'll go to bulk action and I'll click on update and apply. So what will happen is the plugins will get updated. Just keep that in mind because you will have to keep your WordPress up to date to function properly. Great, my plugins are updated. Now let's jump to the part one of understanding page sections. So currently, if you see, I'm on the Elements plugin where you have uh, 31 premium template kits and these get added every now and then. And we have around 120 free template kits. And these also get added frequently by the Elements team. So see, first of all, you need to understand if I want to show you a particular page structure, it won't be a good idea because every website is different. So the sections, the layouts, the structure will be completely different. And that's the reason what I would recommend you guys is open up a lot of template kits, okay? Even if you do it for 20, 30 template kits and just browse through the sections, you will become a pro at it. I can assure you that. So currently, I've chosen four template kits just to show you what I'm talking about. So this one is a therapist website template kit, which has four different home options, then two templates for about me section, then two templates for services section, workshop, FAQ, and so on and so forth. There are lots in one particular template kit. Let me just show you the home page of this therapist template. So this is your hero section. Then they have mentioned the services that they offer. Then a section to show you about me. So this is a home page. So it will just have a small introduction to each section, right? So as you see, this is a about me section. If you click on this, you will go to the about me page. Then they have also added a video, then a FAQ section, and then some statistics, and then a contact me section, right? Let's look at one more, a music lesson teacher page template. So there are 15 page templates in this kit. So if you see there are home page templates, then there is about me courses, video lessons, uh, you'll see pricing, testimonial, FAQ, etc. Let me just show you the home page, one of the home pages, music lesson teacher home page. If you see this is the hero section, right, which shows you what the website is all about. Okay, then the classes that they take blues, heavy metal, blue rocks, etc. A small section, a small write-up by the instructor itself. Then it lets you browse all the guitar classes that they do. You can just click here and see all the classes. Then there are testimonials from clients. Then there is a sign-up, a basically call to action section where your visitors can actually take an action and sign up for your services. Let's go to one more. This is a cybersecurity website, and this is the home page of cybersecurity website. This is the uh, this is the hero section of it. Then uh, just the statistics, right? How to minimize the threats? Then 
to contact us section, then a little bit about their services that they provide, then about the company. And last, we'll look at one animal rescue template kit, which again has 15 page templates. Let's see the homepage of it. There is a hero section. Then we have a call to action section where your visitors can apply for adoption. Then we have a client's list, right? The trusted partners list. Then we have a testimonial section, then some statistics, the achievements till date, then about a section. Plus, again, a call to action section, and then the social media pages. I'm sorry, guys, you might hear a dog barking in the background. I'm recording this video in my home, and there is a cute but ferocious dog in the neighborhood. Pardon me for that. If you see, guys, what is happening is without me telling you what sections to add, what should be the structure, you will yourself be able to understand the entire structure of a particular page. All you have to do is go to elements, okay, and browse through various template kits that are available. You can go to the about us page of multiple template kits. You can go to contact us page of multiple template kits. You can go to all the pages that are available, okay? And in the next step, I'll be showing you how you can pull any section of any particular page, let it be any template kit, easily to your web page, okay? Let's go to that. Now, just to show you that, let me just import this particular page template. Let's go to templates. I'll close these all windows right now. We don't need them. Okay, if you see the therapist homepage template was just added to my templates library. Now let me just quickly pull some random website. Let's say this is the page that you are editing. Okay. Right. So if you see this currently is a Elementor canvas page, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Let's change this to Elementor full width update so that we can see our header. Right, now we can see our header as well. Okay, now let's just browse through. This has a FAQ section. This has, this has contact sales, account help, then email marketing sections. This has a contact form as well. Let's say we wanted to add statistics to our website. What I'll do is I'll just go to the newly added template. And let's just see, there was a statistics option. Okay, now this is the statistics section that we want to add to our website. All I'll do is copy from here and paste it here. It's, it's so simple, guys, right? What I'll also do is, let's say if I wanted a different, if I wanted it somewhere in the middle, let me just drag this. And this is a contact us, this is a FAQ then okay this is a good place to place this and my statistics section is available here i just edit it now let's say if i have 10 plus years of experience i just mentioned 10 let's say we have more customers worldwide let's say we have a thousand thousand number prefix plus so we have thousand plus customers worldwide and let's say these are thousand plus, let's say these as thousand plus happy customers. Uh, let's just add one more. I'll show you adding one more here. If you see these columns are getting uh, mixed up. So let's just go to section. I'll increase the column width to, let's say, a thousand. Okay. And let's just add one more. Adding is very easy, guys. All you have to do is you don't have to do everything again. You just have to do a copy and a paste. Right. And then edit this. So let's say 100 team strength. There you go. We have our statistics section ready. Now you can just edit each and every element just to match your themes, color and fonts, right? 
So you can do that. You just simple, go here, go to style and change the color, the typography, etc. But you got to understand how we add a template. Let's add just one more. So let's say this was a help and support uh, hero image. We let's say we want to add something else here. So let me again go to the template that we had added. And let's say we want this particular hero section in my website page. Let's just copy this. Let's just and we'll just paste it below. So if you see this section is added. Now I don't want this section. Let me just remove this. And we have a brand new hero section <laughs> so easily, guys. Okay. So we have a section now where we have also added the statistics. So so if you see, guys, whatever page section you want to add, all you have to do is spend some time browsing the elements template kits, find the best suitable template for yourself, then pull any section that you want. The simple procedure is go here, import the template, and then go to templates and click on edit with Elementor simultaneously open up your own page and then just copy paste from your template anything that you want in your own web page it's that simple and this is one of the reason why you will find so many templates added in my templates library because i mix and match a lot of things from one template to another right just to learn plus just to help clients and also for these training videos Okay, that's all about it, guys. Let's just quickly run through the mobile editing of WordPress. It's very, very easy. All you have to do is, let's, let's say if you, this is your web page and you want to mobile edit and see how it looks on your mobile, all you have to do is come here and click on mobile. It will show you how your website looks on mobile. It looks pretty cool, right? Right? Let's see how a header looks on your mobile. This is the header. I go here and I click on mobile view and see how the header looks on this particular website. If I scroll down, it sticks to the web page. Right? This is my menu. Right? Now, so if you want to edit anything here, all you have to do is click on any section that you want, okay? And it will show you the mobile. You just have to click here and choose what editing do you want. Do you want it uh, to edit the desktop version, a tablet version, or a mobile version? So currently, if I make any change to the column width, it will only change the column width for your mobile version, right? Vertical line, same. Just keep that in mind. So don't forget to choose where you want to edit because if you choose this, right, you will go to your desktop editing. So just make sure you come here, go to mobile, and then edit whatever you want for your mobile version of your website, okay? If you see, it looks pretty cool, right, even on mobile. So that's the reason why I love using ready-made templates, because I don't have to go through entire process of creating a page from scratch and then uh, desktop edit it, mobile edit it. But this is a great way to start, guys. I wish you all the best. We will see you in the next video. If you have any questions, please mention those in the comments below. And I'll see you in part eight. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot.